Hey, Con. Hey, Con. Hey, it's great having you both with us. Chad, you've got to consider yourself one of the luckiest men alive. I, <laughs> I, I do now. <laughs> <laughs> you got to act alongside Katie. How lucky are oh, you? For oh, for that. She's a gem. She's an absolute gem. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and I hear she can hunt ghosts pretty well. Yeah, it's true. I've, I've gotten pretty, pretty good at it. Tell us a little bit uh, about this and how the, you know, we're out of Atlanta, so how did the Georgia ghost get into your Connecticut movie? Uh, uh, this time <laughs> I'll take Go that for one. it. Um, basically what it is is, uh, you know, in order to cause as little confusion as possible, there was three documentaries, um, Haunting in Connecticut, Georgia, and Haunting in New York. Georgia was actually the most famous of the three. Uh, Haunting Connecticut was turned into a film, a very, very successful film, and in order to kind of make people realize and, and have them understand that it's part of the same series of documentaries, we decided to continue uh, the title. So it's not necessarily a sequel, but it's, uh, it's the second in a version of three stories. So Katie, when you saw the script, you said? Um, yes, please? <laughs> <laughs> No, what you know, was about I, this role that challenged you the most? Um, you know, truthfully, I wanted, um, when I saw Joyce on the page, and then, and then when we all kind of got together and, and started talking about the characters before we started shooting, you know, I wanted to make the decision to, to, to have Joyce be this big, loud, like, kind of, like, firecracker that comes in and, and disrupts the, the life even almost as much as the... the the other ghosts, the other people do, I guess. I was trying not to give too much away, but I guess it's already in the title, so I can say the ghost. Um, so I wanted this character to come in and disrupt things as much as the, the ghosts do, so it was fun for me. Now, Chad, she played your sister-in-law. Would you want this kind of sister-in-law in real life? Her or, the, her or Joyce Her Weirich. character. She's like good time Susie. <laughs> oof, oof, oof. You know, uh, I'm probably going to get, you know, burned alive for this one, but I think I have someone in my family very similar to this. And, <laughs> I think um, we all do. Let's just say I don't go home very often for that one reason. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Chad, what was it about this role that brought out the best in you? You know, um, little Emily. I have to say, uh, you know, having the opportunity to play a father, uh, to someone who actually I have a, a relationship with too previously, she was the, the first baby in life that I'd ever held. Uh, her mother is uh, Barbara Allen Woods, who actually played my, well, kind of stepmom on One Tree Hill, the series I was on for years. And so awesome. when little Emily was, you know, one years old, she was actually the first baby I'd ever held. And all of a sudden, boom, now she's seven, eight years old. And she played my daughter, which was just... Um, I don't know, it just felt very full circle. It felt uh, uh, great to play that as a, a person, and I just felt very protective of her. And I think that shows in the film. Now, the, the, sh the movie has, uh, I guess you would say, a limited release opening. One of the cities is Atlanta. How are you excited to see this opening on February 1st? I'm excited. You know, I, I think that the studios decided to do something very interesting, which is release it in theaters, but at the same time on video on demand. So, you know, uh, whatever whatever your your cup of tea is, you can either go to the theater or you can go and watch it in the comfort of your own home with your whole family and and you know make an evening out of it. And you know, it's and be it's, scared. It, yeah, and be scared. So you can either be scared at the movie theater and then go to the safety Everyone of your home. Everyone will be snuggling can... in after that movie, right? That's <laughs> exactly. Awesome. Exactly. Given both of your tremendous success, last question, what advice would you give to the rest of us pursuing our dreams, given what both of you have been able to achieve? Um, That's a great question. It's such a great question. I, I'm going to say uh, one of the things that I aspire to do every single day is just get up every day and decide, you know, if that is your dream, whatever dream it is, it is this yours, just work harder than everybody else, you know. Just do it. Get up and, and find something every single day and, and dedicate yourself to, to bettering yourself in that department and, and go get it. Mine's very, very similar. You know, I grew up with a father who used to tell me that hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard enough. So, um, yeah, so I, I grew up with that. But the other thing is that, you know, if, if, I, if I ran home with my tail tucked between my legs every time somebody said no, um, I would have quit a long time ago. 
So well, um, just keep going. Well, I'm glad you didn't quit. And Chad, I'm glad you wake up every morning excited to do what you do because we get to enjoy it on the screen. Thank you to uh, both of you. Dude, Con, thank you. Thank you Appreciate very much. Thank you.